Welcome back everybody, been having a great summer and I've been eating healthier, but today I guess you could call it a cheat day. I want to show you how to make my favorite breakfast burrito. It's not just for breakfast either. Blackstone 28 inch Pro Series griddle. It's up around medium or medium high, but don't take my word for it. Depends on the conditions where you live or how many burners you have on your griddle. And of course, my MO is I always oil the griddle up before and after I cook on it. It just works as a miracle elixir, fills in all those little cracks and grooves and helps to maintain that beautiful seasoning. I have some chopped right brand bacon. And we'll crack up our eggs, get those ready for later. And I'll just mix those eggs up with a fork. And I cut my potatoes up about 30 minutes ago to save time filming here. Put them in water so they don't turn brown. We'll just strain those off here on the side of the deck. And my bacon is nearing halfway done. So we'll take those potatoes, which by the way, you can see I cut them up really small. They're gonna cook quicker. And we're gonna mix that up with that bacon. And check out my brand new Blackstone rear grease gate. Open and close. See, we're using those small potatoes because we can cook these super fast. And uh, the bacon and the potatoes should finish cooking right about the same time. This recipe is based loosely on my favorite breakfast burrito down at Alfonso's, down on the south side of Colorado Springs. Very simple, salt and pepper. I've used the taco and fajita seasoning and other seasonings on this in the past, but the way Alfonso's does it is pretty much just like that. We are looking good here. I'm gonna go ahead and move those potatoes and bacon down here to the other side of the griddle. Grab my egg mixture over here on this side of the griddle. I think our potato and bacon mixture is just about perfect. The key to doing these small, to cut these up so small, is they cook super quick, okay? Little pieces of bacon, so they cook up super quick. That way you don't have any gelatinous, uncooked pieces of bacon, and you'll end up with nice, crispy potatoes, and those eggs cook up in just a minute or two. So we'll go ahead, grab ourselves a little pan here. take that big old hunk of fluffy eggs and put it straight inside like this. Now I like to go ahead and mix this up. We still have fluffy eggs, but we're gonna mix this up and we should be able to get a good consistency with uh, our potatoes, our bacon, and our eggs. Something like this. A Little bit of oil down on the griddle top. Now you'll see me toast my burritos from time to time, but we're not gonna toast these. This is the way most of the little taco joints around here do it. By the way, we picked these up, uh, the Mission extra grande. These are about a 12 inch tortilla. If you have a local place that does mega tortillas, go ahead and do them there. You don't need to buy Mission brand. Here we go. I usually go until I can get a few bubbles, something like this. Go ahead and we'll flip our tortilla right there. And that's what the oil allows you to do. Just get that beautiful color on your tortilla. So we're gonna flip these and we're gonna pull these straight away. Go over here to my cutting board, we'll flip these down. I'm choosing to do the more colorful side for the outside. We can go ahead and start filling the burrito. I like to put my fillings right down 
the center line here, but you don't want to get too close to the edge. You need to leave room to fold. All right, so you can just put enough in there, however much you think you can put in there and get away with folding it. Cheese, this is a mixture from my refrigerator. It's a mixture of queso, quesadilla, with cheddar and Monterey Jack. So like three different types of cheese. This will melt, put that on there. This is a personal thing for me. You certainly don't need to do it, but I like to have a little bit of cilantro in my burrito and my taco and any of those things. Now at home here, I'll go ahead and put sauce right here in the middle. But when you go to these taco joints, they typically don't sauce them up. They give you sauce on the side. You know me, I'm all about the Cholula chili garlic, but a lot of these taco joints will have taco sauce is similar to the Verde Herdez sauce. So we'll go ahead and use that today. And to fold, we're gonna go in on the ends. Hold those while we press up, and this is where we sort of tuck down in. We do a little pinch and we fold something like that. Check it out, Blackstone just sent me the brand new taco kit. You can pick these up at walmart.com. It has a bunch of taco related and Southwestern cooking related um, accessories, including little taco holders, a brand new tortilla warmer. Check this out. And oh my goodness, a little accessory tray. So if you were doing tacos for the family, you could have salsa, you could have onions, cilantro, whatever you want in there, but it has a tortilla warming rack. So I can take these and put them on the tortilla warming rack and put these on my griddle, allowing them to stay nice and hot and to get that cheese melted while I'm making these up. And you can certainly go cheese down first as well. And on this one, we'll go down with the Cholula chili garlic. Burritos have been on the warming rack for a couple of minutes. I think the cheese has probably melted. They look beautiful. Take a look at that. And of course, I'm the kind of guy that always has to put plenty of extra sauce on each bite. Wow. Let's give it a try. This is personal comfort food for me right here. So here we go. So delicious, that's the absolute truth. I have the taste of this in my mind's eye. Is that the right thing to say? At any given time, I can start craving it. I know exactly what they taste like. We run down to Alfonso's for these several times a year. But my goodness, folks, that is a delicious breakfast burrito. I used to call these Colorado style because out here in the tip of the American Southwest, putting the fried potatoes in your burrito is a big thing. So I'm not sure what I'll call these for the title, but they are good. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you're watching all of our weekly shows, including Destination Delicious, Family Style with Blackstone Betty, Cook, Eat, Repeat with Chef Nate Lippy, and of course, CJ with CJ's first cooking show. And until next time, praise Lord and pass Todd's favorite breakfast burrito. That's what we're calling it, Todd's favorite breakfast burrito.